All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, I'm gonna answer a question that I think a lot of new growers commonly have, which is, can I grow fig trees in containers? And I think this is a little bit of a silly question if um, you guys have been watching my videos for any length of time, you know that I've been growing fig trees in containers successfully for years. And it's not just me, a lot of you guys watching right now are probably growing fig trees in containers successfully. Uh, and there's really thousands of people, not just myself, but thousands of people who are growing fig trees in containers successfully. So I don't know if the question is really, is this possible? But it's more about, is this worth it? Is growing fig trees in containers a worthwhile endeavor? And I would have to say, yes. In fact, when I first started making videos and I first started growing fruit trees, I grew almost everything in containers. And I tried just about every fruiting plant or the most common ones. And I tried growing them in containers. So you can, guys can go back to some of my earlier videos. You can see what those fruiting plants look like. And I just have to say, after experiencing a number of fruiting plants in containers, also growing a number of different fruiting plants here in the yard, uh, the fig tree is really one of the best fruit trees and fruiting plants to grow in a container. I just find that they are... Uh, quite productive for the size of the container, and they're quite productive for the amount of care uh, that needs to be put in to that container plant. Um, as an example, this right here is a three gallon size tree. It's in like uh, its second year, but to be honest, uh, I don't know if we can really say it's in its second year because if you do everything right, usually by that second or third year, you'll see about 50 to 75 figs, which I think is really nice. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I think a lot of you guys, if you wanted to have a container fig tree, I don't know if how many of you guys were actually expecting that number. Now, if you wanted obviously more figs, well, I would get a larger container. So if you went to like a, instead of a three or five gallon size pot, you went to like a 10 or 15 gallon size pot, you could probably double that production. You could go from anywhere to 100 to 150, maybe even 200 figs a season. So that's really awesome because I think a lot of people, believe it or not, they have no other option. Um, if you live in a zone seven, six, five, or four, it might be a little too cold, especially in those lower zones, to be growing fig trees in, in the ground. So it's just a little too cold typically. Zero degrees Fahrenheit is really that limit for even the hardiest fig varieties. So if you can't offer them protection in zone sixes and some zone sevens, you're not really gonna see great success growing fig trees in the ground. And so one way that growers grow them in colder zones is by growing them in containers. You can obviously lift up the pot and move it away from the colder temperature. So that's one obvious, obvious advantage, but not only that, but these growers are also taking the container fig trees and putting them somewhere warm in the spring, like in a greenhouse. And this is giving them a nice head start to the season. So they're able to grow fig trees, not only in cold places, but places that also have a really short growing season because they're growing in containers. Um, and maybe as well, another option, uh, that people may be forced into growing containers is that, well, maybe you don't have land. Maybe you live in an apartment and all you have is a balcony. So as long as you have a sufficient level of sunlight, I think it's great. Growing fig trees in containers, to me, is a no-brainer. I've been doing it for years and there's thousands of other people who have been growing them in containers as well. So I would highly recommend you guys check out the blog I put a lot of work into it. It's called figboss.com. There's so much other fig related information there. This is just the beginning. And uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We'll see you for the next one. Take care.